A master in the art of living draws no sharp distinction between his work and his play, his labor and his leisure, his mind and his body, his education and his recreation. He hardly knows which is which. He simply pursues his vision of excellence through whatever he is doing and leaves others to determine whether he is working or playing. To him, he always appears to be doing both. How sick is that? It's badass, right? My name is Johnny Pollock. I'm the founder of Pick Up One, and I live in slash drive a 2005 Ford E350, the man van. The man van is absolutely my baby. I'd wanted to get a van and build it out for a while. The beautiful thing about it is I built it exactly how I want it. So that's why I think one day when it goes or it has an issue where I sell it or something like that, it's gonna be so hard to get rid of because I built it exactly how I want it. My favorite thing is probably the bookshelf that it's got a constant revolving door of books that I got floating around through here. The bed is the most comfortable thing of all time. It is a uh, four inch, like medium density foam. And it's like a full blown, like one of the most comfortable beds I've ever slept on. Underneath, we got some flip storage in here. This is the dresser. And so just closed storage and everything else. And then out the back, we keep all the gear, all the climbing stuff, all the cooking stuff right here. Whenever I pull up somewhere, I just bust out this bin. It's got my stove, pots, pans, spatulas, everything you need in there for the Johnny Breakfast Burrito Cafe. I've got all the junk drawers up top because I believe in miscellaneous places for miscellaneous things. The biggest key that anybody can do if they have a van of this size is to make sure that their front seat can swivel. If you don't, you have a wall right here. It closes everything off. The second you spin that, it opens up the entire place and you're good to go. With Pick Up One, it started with the idea that one person picking up one piece of trash makes a huge difference. But really, I want that to be the gateway drug to creating a generation of environmental activists with micro action that yields a macro impact because it's done consistently. So every time you're out, pick up one piece of trash. If you can create that habit, then those people are constantly aware that they can make a positive impact on the places that they love. So really almost an ethos of enjoy respect and protect so if you enjoy a place whether that's surfing climbing hiking camping whatever it may be or even just taking your dog for a walk in a certain park if you enjoy it then you should respect it and if you respect it then you should protect it pick up one is really a way to show people how easy it is for them to make an impact and to bring awareness to the impact that they make both positive and negative I actually have pictures in my van of me on my Uncle Greg's hearse that he lived in before he actually had a van. And he would drive around different climbing areas and he would just climb it. And he lived in Hidden Valley Campground for years before it became the way it is now. And so in a place like this, there's just such a respect for the generations that came before because they were so badass. Climbing has more of a history than any other sport that I've ever seen. When you go on a climb, you're putting your hands exactly where that guy put his hands. You're literally following in the hand and footsteps of what those guys did. You know that he was in this exact spot. Both of his hands were here. It's the only option. His foot was here and he had to make a big move to this. The grandfathers of climbing like the Yvonne Chouinards and the Royal Robins, those guys, especially the way that Yvonne kind of puts dirt bagging on like a pedestal and just like the greatest way possible. It's just been a part of the culture since like the 50s, more so than anything else. Like surfers have lived in vans, but climbers still do. And it's like a normal thing. With a van, the whole thing about it and what it helped me out with was, it's just the freedom where you don't have to be anywhere. And that's such a foreign feeling to so many people. When you literally don't have a rent payment and you don't have to be to work on Monday at any specific location, you don't have to be here. 2005 40 Conline van, E350 Super Duty baby. It's just the greatest thing ever. 